Well, in the aftermath of Iran's missile and drone attack against Israel over the weekend, there is one thing that is abundantly clear, that Joe Biden is no deterrent for Tehran's terrorism. He's basically asleep at the wheel. He's only emboldened Iran. I'm joined now by senior lecturer at the Curtin University Law School and Sky News contributor Rocco Lossono. Rocco, thank you very much for joining me. Look, Joe Biden has been weak and weak on Israel over the past few months. We then saw this direct attack from Iran, which is unprecedented. Usually they use proxies. What does this tell you about America's leadership in the Middle East and globally? Oh, good evening, Sherry. Yes, look, the Biden administration uh, talks has been talking tough. We had a speech with uh, Antony Blinken uh, in June last year saying that uh, through diplomacy and deterrence, uh, we can hold Iran at bay because we know that they, uh, they actively support terrorists. But uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, even after October 7, um, uh, the US did not uh, enforce uh, oil sanctions against Iran, which means it was able to export 1.4 billion uh, barrels of oil a day. And of course, all that money goes to finance uh, terrorists. Uh, weakness invites aggression. Uh, it's a bit like the schoolyard. If you want to stop bullies, you've got to stand up to them. And at the, uh, over the last 18 months or so, uh, America has not been standing up to, to Iran. And uh, we've seen the consequences of that uh, uh, since October. Well, Joe Biden is so inarticulate that whenever he's been asked in interviews, what does he have to say to Tehran, which has been weighing up whether or not to attack Israel since October 7, directly attack it, all he can say is, don't. That's it. Don't. One, one word. I mean, is, is this the reality of, of what we're looking at here, that the Ayatollahs don't think that US is ultimately going to come to Israel's defence? Well, look, I mean, just a one-word reply, don't. And uh, it's, not just, uh, it's not just Joe Biden. I think the West collectively uh, uh, has a sense of moral fatigue uh, and a moral uh, uh, abandonment. Um, and we're seeing it uh, in uh, our leadership here in Australia with uh, our Prime Minister and our Foreign Minister. And I think this is born of an ignorance of, of, of history. I mean, don't they realise that the, in the whole history of the Middle East conflict, one side has been, been prepared to compromise, while the the other side, it's always been all or nothing. Um, that there's one side that it wants to wipe Israel off the map, and once they wipe Israel off the map, uh, they're coming for the rest of us, and that is a stated aim. I mean, Bob Hawke said that when the, when the bell tolls for Israel, it will toll mm. for all mankind. Uh, mm. As, yes, as Bob Hawke said when he was Prime Minister, unlike Albanese. Now, um, Israel is reportedly considering retaliation. Uh, it's said to be imminent. It could be the next couple of days. That's what we're all expecting. The US and the international community have said to Israel, don't retaliate. I had Shadow Defence Minister Andrew Hastie here on the show last night. He said you can't respond to Iran with weakness. He says Israel does need to take strong action. What's your view? Well, at the end of the day, uh, Sherry, uh, Israel uh, has a right to defend itself against against these attacks. And I think we, we, we're failing here in the West because we've had the luxury of peace for about 80 years. Uh, since the Second World War, we haven't had a conflict where we have had to fight for our very existence. Israel is fighting for its very existence and it must take whatever means possible uh, to do so. Yeah. Do you think that the Australian government here, the Albanese government, has been strong enough in support of Israel? Or, or do you think that there was that initial support right after the terror attacks and uh, it's just been kind of weakness ever since? Well, again, I, I, initially, yes, there, there might have been some strong words, but um, with Penny Wong's statement uh, last week, they seem to be trying to appease these clueless activists on the extreme left of the Labor Party who have always been uh, anti-Israel anti and therefore mm. uh, anti-West. Uh, Israel at the moment seems to be the whipping boy uh, for, the, for the general attacks on, on, on Western civilisation. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it.